All right, I keep seeing these ads for this new Braun light over at Harbor Freight. Um, and most of the time it's on sale for $19.99. Um, and the ad says it beats the Astro 40 SL. And that's like my favorite light. I have two of these Astro 40 SL. So, of course, I had to take them up on it. I had to buy one and see if it really does beat the Astro. So as you can see, I got my Astro here. Or one of them. And I got the new Braun light. Let's see, made in China. But I'm pretty sure the Astro is made in China too. Uh, let's get this thing open. So as you can see, it comes with its own little USB charging plug or cord. Feels good, I have to admit. This is all metal right here. Yeah, you can see that's where the charging port is. Has a little rubber cover that doesn't really snap in. Well, let's look at the size difference. You can see the Astro's a little bit bigger, a little bit longer, but pretty close to the same size. And the thickness, I would say. The Astro has a little bit thicker part right there. But I have to say that this, uh, this is thinner than the Astro. The Astro is definitely thicker. And then this, this one has a removable battery, which is really nice. So you can replace the battery. Whereas the Astro, you can't. The Astro, that battery's part of it. You're not going to return or uh, reuse it or replace it. And so this one, I can feel a little detent in there. But it's strong. It won't move once you put it where it is. Okay, so on the Astro it has a magnetic base, and then so does this one. Let's see how they compare. All right, we'll just use the side of the toolbox here. We'll try the Astro first. And you can see that sticks really well. Let's try the Harbor Freight. That sticks really well too. I'd have to say that stuck just as well. And what else does it say? Okay, the lumens. The Braun Harbor Freight is 390 and the Astro is 410. So that's pretty close. So the Astro, you can see you just turn the dial. You can hear it click on and then you have a fully variable. So you can put it the brightness however bright you want. If you want it just a little bit or a lot. Definitely comes in handy like for me when I make videos. Um, but the one drawback of having this is I already had one of these uh, fail on me where the light flickered. Um, so you'd put it on and just leave it in position and the light would flicker back and forth and I had to send it in to get it warrantied. Now um, Astro was great. I sent it in. They sent me a brand new one, no questions asked. Um, but that is, a, that is a drawback of having this variable switch, is that they can go bad. And the Harbor Freight, you just got to on-off switch a button right here. So it goes high, then low, then it goes the little flashlight up here, which the Astro does not have, and then off. Um, the one thing I've noticed, though, is it's easy, once you when you're grabbing it, it's easy to to hit that button on and off. So that's uh, not the best feature accidentally hit turning the thing on and off but it's not bad. Now the Astro of course you stick it on the base and then you can turn the dial here to loosen or tighten and then you can put it basically goes from about there to about there. So it doesn't go all the way over but it gets you about just about every position you can get. 
and then you can loosen or tighten that depending on where you want it. This one it looks like it sticks like this and then you can bend this however you want and then you can rotate it. So it looks like it goes 180 degrees, stops right there. And then this goes 180 degrees. So between that you should be able to get just about any position you want. That's pretty nice. And looking at this, of course, yes, they're both rechargeable USB. Um, the runtime, they both say they're 150 minutes. Um, it's probably on high. And then um, swivels, yes, they both swivel. But you can see, I think the Astro runs a little over 50 bucks. And then this you can get on sale for $20 if you get the coupon like this. And who buys anything from Harbor Freight full price? Um, the one thing I noticed that the Astro has that the uh, Harbor Freight doesn't is it has the hook. I like that because I'm hanging this thing all the time everywhere. And when I'm not using it, I hang it up with that. Um, this one doesn't have that, and I don't see any place to hook it. So it is one advantage for the Astro, but that's pretty minor. I'd say the color temperature is pretty similar. The Harbor Freight might be a little whiter light. Hard to see it probably in the video, but yeah, maybe a little bit. And if you can, you can see the, this actually lights up when it's on, little power button. Well, I have to say, my initial impression of this, I'm impressed. I like it. Um, it feels good. Seems well built. Um, and for $20, I don't think you can go wrong with this. Um, will it beat the Astro long term? Well, that remains to be seen. The Astro is pretty proven. They work pretty well. You can throw them around the garage and they don't break. Um, so we'll have to see how, how well these hold up. But for $20, I mean, you can buy two or three of these for almost the same price as you can buy one of these. And you can just always keep one charging. That's what I do with these. I always have one charging and I'm using the other one. Um, but yeah, I really like this little thing. And I suppose they're different enough where this, this might be able to get into an area that this one doesn't, just the way they bend and the way this one articulates at the base. Um, and then this one might get into other places where you just need one like that, where this one won't do that very well. So, uh, I guess it's debatable on whether it actually beats it, but I don't think you can go wrong buying one of these. I might buy a couple more of these. Um, one thing I should mention is the warranty. Uh, it's 90 days on the Harbor Freight. Although, although you can buy, I'm pretty sure you can buy an extended warranty. Um, and then on the Astro, the standard is one year. And when I had my fail, it was at about six months when it failed and they sent me another one. So if this one fails in six months, if you just had the standard 90-day warranty, you'd be out of luck. So that is something to factor in. And in, in messing around with it for a little bit, I noticed, you know, to turn it on, if you want the different lights, you have to scroll through it. But once you pick a light, like say right there, and once it's on for a little bit, then if you hit it again, it just turns it off. It doesn't keep scrolling through. That's, so that's nice. So when, all you have to do is hit it once after you're done and uh, it turns it off. Well, there you go. Uh, hope you enjoyed my little comparison of these two lights. Um, I have to admit, I was a little skeptical of these when I first saw them. I thought, eh, it's probably just another cheap Harbor Freight version. But uh, I have to admit, Harbor Freight has stepped up their game lately and uh, they're making decent stuff. Um, so... I wouldn't hesitate to recommend one of these, and I wouldn't uh, hesitate to buy another one. Now, if they start going out after uh, 30 days, then that, that's a different story. But um, the initial inspection and quality that I see right here, can't go wrong with them. And in any event, hey, if you liked the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.